G'day everyone, my name's Colleen and I'm here today to explain my pick and paint watercolour pack. Okay, so I'll just show you the pack and that's the other side, so that's two separate pieces. One of the things I hear as an art teacher and an artist is, you know, you don't have time to do things or you're not very artistic but you'd like to have a go. Well, you know what, I can help you with that. So what I've done is I've done the drawing for you. And then that's gonna go on artist quality watercolor paper, which is what I would use. And you're not sure about the paper or, uh, sorry, the paint. So what I've done is I've actually created swatches of the paint. So if you were actually able to touch this, you'll feel that it's dried paint. And when you add water to it, it's on a separate little card, you can actually paint your piece. I've included the reference for you. So this is what the, the image is that I worked from. And then I've got some step-by-step -step instructions, but you still need a little bit more help. I can help you with that as well. So I've created a YouTube channel and you can actually see me paint and you can stop and pause and keep up with whatever you wish. Uh, so that will help you with your painting. Now, this is the um, piece that I've painted. Uh, and I think I'm gonna make that into a print if you wanted to contact me about that. And in this one, I'm following the rules. So I'm doing, um, you know, the right colors and the right water consistencies, consistencies and all looking at lights and shade and all of that. But then after I have finished my piece, what I actually did was I had a play, which is something I like having a, do, a go at doing, so breaking the rules. So you're welcome to have a go at that with the paint that I've included. I've got a couple other packs to show you. So this is my Sunflower Pick and Paint Watercolor Pack. And again, you've got your artist quality paper and then you've got your paint swatches down the bottom, which you can use as separate. And I created a hibiscus piece. There's a separate piece of paper. There's your drawing ready to go and done for you. And there's your paint that you can use. And then that's a just a picture of the finished one.